No wonder the president. Why do you think there would be that calculated attempt? Is it is it because of what the finance ministry said no, about no, our precarious no, economic no, situation no. and falling on the IMF, the World Bank, the Bretton at all, Institute? at all? But because of the requirements in one o six, which which is that are what one o six eight, which is that the president must necessarily act on a bill when there's no such distractions. Now he says that there's an action in the Supreme Court, so I am unable to act. So if he's unable to act, Parliament is also unable to act. Let me, let me ask you this, though. If the Supreme Court, mm. contrary to what you think, yes. if it jettisons yeah. um, this bill, so to speak, and says, Mr. President, based on the law and what we see, it may have X or Y negative impact, and so don't sign it, mm. right? Mm. Or it gives its decision, its mm. ruling, mm. which points to the fact that mm. it is not encouraging the president to sign it. Mm. What then will parliament do? Because this then could create some sort of conundrum for the three arms of government. Parliament has proposed a bill. The executive has refused to sign it, which in a way contravenes the law. But he's within his limits. He says it's before court, which it is before court. And if the court says it is unconstitutional, mm. Parliament's hands are tied, even with your two-thirds. And even there, with the two-thirds, do you think you will get it with, from, you don't have two-thirds. Mm. You will need majority mm. members mm. and uh, NPP members to join you. Mm. Do you think you will get that? And I even if you could get that, mm. uh, if the Supreme Court says no, mm. there's nothing you can do, can you? Supreme Court will say no to what? A bill? The Supreme Court can say that a person. Hold on, hold on. Let me give you an analogy. Supreme Court can say that a person cannot cannot come to court to sue on a matter he disagrees with. That will be that will be the converse side of that decision. That it means that Parliament cannot function. Parliament cannot do its work because Parliament functions primarily by passing bills into law. Mm. Lawmaking, lawmaking function. Is the is the primus inter pares of all parliamentary That's functions. The core function. That's the core function of parliament. So Supreme Court to say that parliament cannot pass bills into laws. No, but but it is not saying that. It is saying that so, in this specific good. instance, no. what 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 bill you have passed is unconstitutional. That's the, that's the test. No bill has if, been passed. That, no that bill. No me. bill has been passed into law yet. Mm. That's 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 the fundamental point I'm making. So it is premature. I am not saying the court cannot make pronouncement the constitutionality of a law passed by parliament. Probably but it's not so become a law yet. Yes. So it, the food is not yet cooked. It's cooking. It's not yet cooked. In other words, what you're saying is the president can go ahead and give us assent to this. Which he has then, to. Then, yes. which he has to. Which he has to. Which I will be suing as soon as, as, soon as we remit this to his office. Mm. Time will begin to count. If after 14 days he doesn't exercise that, I am going back to the Supreme Court to compel him to perform his constitutional function. You will sue the president. I will sue. To, to compel him to, to compel him to the to, constitutional requirements. Yes, because his conduct in not assenting to the bill within the requirements of Article 106.8 is unconstitutional.